Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey and today we are going to be working on an idea that I had that I wanted to add to my bandstand area. So this section over here, right, as we're looking at it, it looks empty. It just, it just looks too open, too empty and I wanted to make something special and I went to a park that we may go to that particular park and do an island adventure video because I got inspired and part of that inspiration I'm bringing in here. So I may go back there and record it because I think it's gonna be very cool to see it and why I made this idea here. But okay, so the idea is I wanted to make a walkway, right? But in a canopy style that usually there's vines and greenery and you see the, the sunlight coming right through and that was the idea. That's what I wanted to create and it was a challenge. Um, I'll be honest, it was a challenge because at first I, I needed to think what I wanted to do. And the only thing that the, the only item that we have at the moment that we can use in a particular way is bridges, right? It's the way that we can make roofs or we can feel like we're making a tunnel or walkways or anything like that. But I wanted to go a little bit beyond that, but still, I still have to use a bridge. So the bridge that we're gonna use is the dark wood one, right? So I gotta make this feel all wooded, like it's all connected and it's just in little section and tiers. So here we are. So I decided to go with the, um, the dark wood. We're gonna do it in a smaller scale. We're gonna have one gap in between, right? Because I kinda want that little sunlight to come in and between the gaps. And as you're walking, it's kinda like you're creating the effect of windows, right? That's the idea, that's the concept. And as we continue to work on this build, as you're gonna be seeing, that idea keeps evolving and evolving and we start adding more things that makes it feel more like a canopy, as much as we can in, in the Dinkum, right? In the Dinkum world at the moment with the items that we have. And the main trick about this is the greenery because I want to have this feel. I mean, you can have a canopy that just wood with no vines, right? But I wanted to hide a little bit more of the bridges, hide the concept that we're using bridges in the corners and just add greenery, right? And then in the future, Jane just introduced vines with a little teaser. So maybe we go back, come back over here and retweak that. But okay, so here we are. So, so as you can see, uh, I selected a specific height. I put the character. So kind of, it feels kind of more realistic to the character size as you're walking underneath it. I don't need it to be so tall, but I don't want it to be very close to the head. So we went ahead and just kind of raised it in a specific level. Okay, so then now we're gonna add on the side. So, uh, because we wanna start kind of closing now a little bit of the feel of the bridge, right? So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going all dark wood, right? That that was the mindset. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start using the, the dark wood flower boxes as well because that way they connect to the bridge and it, and, it's, and it feels like it's all one piece, right? And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna use the tropical bushes that this will help. This will help to kind of hide a little bit more. But as you're gonna see, as we continue to work on this, right? And raise this level and add this detail, the bushes don't hang. I, I mean, I, I want this bush kind of what happens in the other flower pots or it's just they kind of hang over in this particular flower box that effect is not happening and I was not enjoying it so this is something that's going to be tweaked this is something that's going to change and we're going to start using something else but for now is we are trying to get the idea you know and as I'm building this video and as I'm building this structure I didn't know if it was gonna work, you know? And sometimes that happens, you know? I, I, I'm working on idea, I'm working on videos, and sometimes they're never good enough. The idea never comes to fruition and we have to kinda like just delete it and work on something else. But I'm so happy that for me, in my style, this happened to work. I like the feel of it. I like what we were able to create at the very end. And it gives us something more to look at in this bandstand area that I, I love my bandstand area. I, I put a lot of thought, I put a lot of work into it, a lot of detail, and I think this really adds to it. And I think this idea, this structure, for now, with the items that we have in Dinkum, can be so beneficial in so many ways in your island for other activities. And at the same time, this is something that I'm bringing into a live stream island. I'm trying to create this feel that I did here, but I'm trying not to do it just yet on my live stream island because I want this video to come out. And then we're gonna start adding those extra details 
in that walkway on our live stream island. But okay, so as you can see, I'm still working here. And then, like I say, I didn't like it, see? So I started, okay, well, let me find another, the, another flower pot. So I'm using like the, the OG one, you know, one of the first one that we ever got. And you see how now the bush hangs. You see those vines that hang bigger and longer. And now I feel better, like, and then it's also taller. So it feels like it's hitting part of the bridge. And now I'm liking that. I'm liking this feel. I'm liking the way it's feeling. And I'm like, okay, this is something closer for what I'm seeing. Of course, when I went to the park, you know, all, all that stuff, all those vines were on top of the canopy right and so we can't do that just yet here but on the sides that that's what i'm trying to do so now i'm kind of tweaking in the in between the areas i'm trying to maybe raise the level so we can continue kind of having like a little walkway inside here because i'm trying not to create kind of like little windows right so when you're walking and you stand in front of it you can look at it and you see the size of the two waterfalls that we have over here so that's what we're doing and as we continue, I'm liking the idea. I stood there in the front. I'm looking at it, but now the front is still is missing. It's missing stuff. You know, it's you. It's too obvious. I I need to hide a little bit more of these corners. I still need to hide a little more of the frame of the bridge. I was like, okay. So what can I do? So here we are. We're just trying different flower pot, different vases, different heights, different variation, different combination. So we can slowly start framing the idea, framing the design, framing the concept of this canopy, right? So now we got to work on the entrance, on the entrance, on the canopy, and or at least the walkway, right? This, this little hallway, because I like the hallway look, but I wanted to hide a little more of the fact. And by putting this bushes again in a specific sequence you know we are we are making a little bit of progress we're making a little bit of a better feel but again it's all trial and error you know and i gotta go through all the different items all the different variation that's in my head just to make sure if i'm liking everything and then if i like something as you can see i start slowly putting the wood because i still wanted to feel like this is all one big structure like one big wood structure even though it's just multiple pieces but Look at this, you know, and, and it's so funny that we I'm back using a lot of, of the original Dinkum items that we, we have from the very beginning, right? The, there, there's something about the tropical bush, you know, that when you plant them, they give you this feeling. I like it in these pots, you know, and just, it's the OG stuff, you know, and I slowly, lately, I see myself going back to some of the old school flowers, the old school bushes, some of the old school items, because they're still just so good, right? And so here we are. So, okay, so we are tweaking the area. We are now kind of restructuring a little bit more. But now there was something uh, in my mind, and I was like, I don't know if I like the brick underneath it. I think I want to break that up, and I think I want the path, the, the walkway, to also be cement. I, I wanted to kind of tie it in to the actual bandstand, like the bandstands continue. And this is all choice, this is all gonna be preference. I ended up liking it because I feel like it kind of belongs together. I feel like when, when I went to the parks and all that, everything underneath it was still cement. It wasn't changing because everything was connected to the actual park structure area. So in my mind, I had that in me and I, and I kind of wanted to recreate that feeling that I experienced, right? So as the steps we go down, that is all cement step, it tightens to the sidewalk that leads you towards the bandstand. So now I feel personally that it's all uniform and it's all tied in together and I love that. So here we are, I'm adding more pods. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do in between the sections, in between those pockets, Do I? because I want it to feel very green and that's what I kinda want it. So then I had another idea, I was like, okay, I like the idea of the, of the vines. So what about if I use this, this vine fence, you know, and kind of give more greenery and something different into the build. So I take out all my old stuff, my favorite combination hedges, we take it out, we take the iron, we take the hedges, and now we just add the vine fence. And you're, we're just gonna surround this area just using this fence. And I, and I truly feel like it gave something more, right? Because it's wood, it's vine, and again, it's green, it's what I'm going for, and I think this combination slowly is coming together. And it's another item that I don't use often, but I, I do feel like I made it work here, 
But again, it's always gonna be preference. It's gonna be exactly what you like or don't like. Okay, so now I'm kind of tweaking some of this area because I can't put a bridge here. So the, there's a little section here, right? That I can't really put any bridge. So I gotta try to design something. So do I want flower pots? Do I want a bench? Do I, what do I want in these corners that are in this section? But as I'm constantly evolving, constantly thinking, new ideas come into my mind. So I was thinking, okay, I feel like maybe I got too much of the same flower pot, right? So maybe I wanna alternate them a little bit. And I was thinking, okay, so the cement planter as well gives me that effect. And also the bushes, they just look a little bit bigger. So I was thinking, okay, so let's use some of the cement. Let's use also the original flower pot and then alternator, right? So we can get different sizes, different feel, and it's just a different sequence. And for my personal, personal taste, I ended up liking, I like this idea because some of the bushes look a little more bigger, more rounder, and I like that, you know, and now rewashing this, maybe I should have just alternated even more. M maybe having a, a cement and a flower pot together, and then maybe two flower pots, and then two cement, and then just keep alternating even more. That's something maybe I'll try in the future, something separate, but you know, as, and that's the great thing about building, you know, ideas just keep coming and coming, even me watching this again, so I can do the voiceover, so I can explain everything that was going through my mind. It's amazing how many other ideas start coming in. So, okay, so here's the other idea that I had. I was like, okay, so maybe I can use this little vine, right? The, the, this little vine arch that we have right here and put it in between the sequence. So when you're walking, you can kind of see it. When you look on the camera up high, you still got this greenery. So I was like, you know what? I kind of like this idea. I think this may work. This may give me something more to look at, to feel like, and I'm adding more greenery. Because again, like I said in the very beginning of the video, I'm trying to imitate a feeling that I had when I went to this park. and. And that feeling, I wanted to translate as much as I can here. So that's why I'm being a little more picky in my design. So I wanted to add again in the very front in here, the same thing. So I kind of had to kind of retweak the stairs here a little bit so I can have a little more of an opening. And then we just keep uh, tweaking on it. So, and then I, I started adding all this uh, extra light, like the Tiki torch and stuff like that, because at night it gets a little dark and we want a little light. But I was, I was never convinced with the Tiki torch, it's just, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. The more I left them, the more I looked at it, it just, it didn't fit the vibe of the bandstand area. So eventually we're gonna change those. We're gonna raise at one block and we're gonna do the stone lamps. The stone lamps has been a winner since they came into the game. They've been such an amazing design, such amazing light source because the light is perfect. It's a short lamp, but it's bigger than the garden lamps. And it's been just a fantastic way to use it, right? And, and, and it's amazing, you know, how one item can change the way you design and the way you approach the game. And the stone lamps, I feel like it's one of those items, you know, such that they came into the game. We have been able to just design in a different way, in a better way. But yeah, but right now I'm, I'm raising just one block, right? I kind of want to keep adding a little wood. I want these structures to feel solid, like it's one big structure. But, and then look at this. You, you see how those vines hang when you're walking down the tunnel? That's what I wanted. That was the feel. I'm glad that slowly the idea of this design is coming through for me, you know? And I hope that this is giving you ideas, it's inspiring you, it, you may want to like try something like this or do your own version, do a tweak to it. Um, maybe you put the bridges all closer together because you don't like to have gaps. I don't know, let me know how you're gonna approach it because I'm gonna be very curious how you are gonna use this design, use this idea and incorporate it into your island. But okay, so as you can see, I took all the Tiki torches out and we're gonna do just the stone lamp now. I I do feel like they match better. Now we got cement, they're shorter. You don't see like all this flame and fire, just, you know, like, I don't know, like it's just the Tiki torches didn't do it for me. But if you like the idea of using the Tiki torches, they worked out for you, it fits your aesthetic, it's a good combination, then go ahead and just do it. Okay, so now, I kind of wanted to retweak a little bit more of the front here. So as you can see, I took, a, I added a little more block. So I kind of had to adjust the little bandstand area. So I can have a little more, I, I need to frame this better. 
you know, I kind of wanted to hide the fact that we have like these two poles over here. So I'm trying to work and hide it and use the hedges and make the hedges turn and attach to the to the pole because it kind of, you know, when you put something like that, it, it kind of wants to attach to it. So it gives you even another shape in the hinge. So, and that and that was the, the reason behind it, right? And once I shaped that front, I felt like it felt more official. It felt a little bit better. And because the part of it is just trying to hide some of those corners, some of those little sections that makes it feel like, like it's a bridge. But then we added some trees. We had some trees on the side. So that way when they grow, it's gonna look really nice. And then we're walking and look at how this feel. I just, I truly like how everything feels like when you walk underneath it, I like seeing the vines that just in between the bridges. I just feel like it just gives that feel and that look. I like how it looks from far away. So we're checking in every direction. That's something that I like to do. And look at this, instead of being just open and nothing, you know, it was just a walkway. Now we have a structure. We have something that looks really nice from far away and it just gives it more to this area, more to the bandstand. And when you look beyond the bandstand, then you see that structure. And I think it's great. And it's just amazing the things that we can still continue to create, to do in Dinkum. It's just, you know, Dinkum is just being one of those games that just keeps evolving with idea, with the design, with the community. And we keep getting inspired from what we get from the real world and bring it to the game. And that's what happened here. I got inspired by something that I saw in the real world and I wanted it to recreate it here. And then that feeling translated as best as we can, you know, with the items that we have in Dinkum. And look at this, and at nighttime, I just feel like it has this nice glow. I think we've, we did good with the lighting. Everything is matching. We have the waterfall, we got the flowers, and then all the greenery, it just is so good. And I just stood here and I just looked at it. I just I just feel like we did such a great job, you know? And, and I hope, and I hope that you truly, truly got inspired, that you wanted to do something like this, that this could be added into your park into in front, you know, just creating the walkway alone is something that you can create just for a cool effect, going from one building to another, you know, just leading from one place to another. And I think all of this in, a, in combination with everything that we're designing, with all the designs that we have been able to do up to now, you know, is another piece to the puzzle to start creating even better towns, better islands, just better builds. And I can't wait to see how you guys tweak this, what you guys are gonna do with it, and how you guys are gonna make it your own. Because that's one of the most exciting things about this, is seeing your creations being done in Dinkum. But guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.